Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Apna Funda Online. In our previous video on simple and compound interest, we introduced you to the concept of interest and how it works in the real world. In this video, we look at all the important formulas of simple and compound interest. Please take a note of all formulas that you see and remember them when we start solving questions from our next video. We'll start with the questions video from video number three and so on. Before we proceed, I want you to have a clear understanding of percentage and its application. You will need a good practice for fast percentage calculations. I'm sharing the playlist link of videos on percentage in the description box. In case if you have not watched or have missed our percentage videos, please click on the link and watch our percentage videos in the playlist and then proceed with the topic of simple and compound interest. Also, if you have any query doubts or anything you want to tell us, you can mail us at hello at the rate apnafundaonline.in. In the description box, there are also links to our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter page. Click on those links and follow our page for daily updates. Let's begin. Let's look at the formulas and don't forget to note it down. First, simple interest. Simply, SI is equals to P into R into T divided by 100, where SI means simple interest, P stands for principal, R stands for rate of interest per annum, T stands for the time period, which is years. From this very simple formula of simple interest, you can also derive the formulas to find the principal, rate of interest, and also the time. Let's look at those formulas as well. Principal is equals to simple interest into 100 divided by rate of interest into time period. Rate of interest R is equals to simple interest into 100 divided by principal into time period. And lastly, time period is equals to simple interest into 100 divided by principal into rate of interest per annum. I hope you are noting all these important formulas down in your copy. Amount is equals to principal plus simple interest. As we discussed, at the end of the period, the interest is added to the principal and the amount is equal to the principal plus the interest earned or paid so amount is equals to principal plus simple interest. You will be more clear about the applications of this formula when we start solving questions from our next video. Now let's move to the compound interest. Compound interest formula. Let P be principal, R be the rate percent per annum and T is equals to the N years. So when interest is compounded annually, amount A is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power N, which is actually T. Correct? Next formula. When interest is compounded half yearly, when we start solving questions on compound interest and simple interest, the few of the complexity will be faced when the time period is, you know, it's in months or years or half yearly, quarterly. You will need to be aware of all these formulas. So when interest is compounded half yearly, amount A is equals to principal into 1 plus R by 2 divided by 100 whole to the power of 2N, which is actually 2T. So the difference between this formula and the previous formula, the difference between when compounded half yearly and when compounded annually is that the rate of interest becomes half in this case, unlike the previous one, and the time period becomes double, unlike the previous one. Correct? Next. Similarly, when interest is compounded quarterly, amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100 whole to the power of 
4n, which is 4t. So in this case, what we did, the rate of interest gets divided by 4 over the time period becomes 4 times. Next, this is a rare case, but you should know this formula. When interest is compounded annually, but time is in fraction. Example I have given 4, 1 by 7 years. So how do we write this? This will be amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R divided by 100 to the power 4. So in 4, 1 by 7, this is the 4 into 1 plus 1 by 7 R. This is the other 1 by 7 divided by 100. Please note this formula. When rates are different, R1%, R2%, R3% for different years respectively. If you have seen my videos on percentage, there is a formula that I have discussed on successive percentage changes. It's a similar formula which we are going to apply here. So amount A is equals to P into 1 plus R1 by 100 into 1 plus R2 by 100 into 1 plus R3 by 100. Last, present worth of rupees X due in N years. How do we write this? This is present worth is equals to X divided by bracket 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. You will understand all of these formulas when we start solving questions from our next video. Please stay tuned and don't forget to note down all the formulas. Please keep it handy when we start solving questions. Also, please remember these formulas. These are very important formulas which you need to keep it in your fingertips when you are solving questions on simple and compound interest. Also, be well versed and well informed about percentage applications. Please watch my videos on percentage. There are good videos. There are good questions that we have solved on percentage. Please have a look. I end the video here. From our next videos, as I said, we'll start solving questions on simple and compound interest. So do not forget to watch our next video and do not forget to, cop to start with your copies and pen. Just play the next video and start solving along with me. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you have any query, doubts or anything you want to tell us, you can mail us at hello at the rate You can also follow us on social media platforms for daily updates of Apna Funda Online. Ensure you don't miss a single video on this topic. So kindly subscribe to our channel Apna Funda Online and press the bell icon. Stay tuned to Apna Funda Online for more educational videos. Thank you.